Think of when you share what you feel. What you feel in your heart. As I feel love for each of you when you were born. You know what that means? That means that you're number one in my book when you were born. That means that I loved you when you were born. Now think of what you love in this world. Think of what others love. Imagine when you share that love through your words or through your phrases or through the terms. But I loved you when you were born. Then as you grew, sometimes that love grew stronger. Sometimes that grow, love grows less because of the choices you make. But when we share our feelings, when we share what we feel with another or with others, what happens? You begin to build a relationship. You begin to grow together in feeling, emotion. Emotion starts to come into play. What emotion is that I'm speaking of is love. But love is so much more than just a love between just two individuals. When you share your love with the world and tell others of your love, others begin to love it as well. And that influence then shares with others. So true love isn't just a soul proprietorship. It's not just something you keep to yourself, but something you shout at the wind. That you tell the world of. And that goes with other emotions as well. When you don't like something or when you find something fondly or you find something fun. When you find something fun, you share that with the world and then they enjoy that fun. And when they, share, when they enjoy that fun, others enjoy that fun because they share that fun with others. And it just keeps on growing and growing. As those emotions grow. But what is true fun? True fun is that share. You can't have fun by yourself alone. You can try. You have a little fun. But what is the greatest fun? When you're working with others. When you're having fun with others. So when you're with others, those emotions, those feelings grow stronger because you're sharing them. Because as you share these, uh, these emotions with other people, they grow stronger in the world. This goes for dark emotions as well. When you say you don't like something and you loudly proclaim how much you dislike this or that, that grows in the share as well. As I have done with homosexuality. Why? Why have I done this with homosexuality? Because homosexuality bears no child. And I don't see that as a good thing for this world. I see that as a false good being presented before us. You might find that, that it's a fantastic thing. But the truth of it is, it bears no life. And if you are to choose between homosexuality and life-giving relationships, I'd rather you choose between life-giving relationships. Because there is life there. There is continuance. And that continuance is a share. Well, homosexuality, though you share it with one other, and you might share a love of it with many, as a pride might do, it still will not continue the existence of mankind and womankind, of humankind. So where does this exuberant good that they proclaim come from? From a selfishness. And they share it so loudly and take and say that everything has to be of it because they want it to be so badly among everything. Why? I don't know. Because it is so detrimental to our continued existence. You say, well, it's just one couple. That's just two babies not born in the balance of life. 
from our population and it's continuing. But what happens when it is shared among many, as they are promoting and trying to do now? That's more than just one couple. How many children are lost when that is shared? Just as when love is shared and fun is shared, they create a share of great loss of our children. What does a share of fun create? A great amount of fun in the world. What does a share of love create? A greater amount of love in the world. What does the false good called gay, which once was a happiness, now lusted it because it's now just a single choice. And let's talk about sex is all it's about. Share with this world. In a private union, it shares, I suppose, a relationship and a love. A single beat of heart. But what does it take when it is shared from us all? The future continuance of what when it grows strong? How many children are lost? You see, what we share in our emotions, in our, in, in, in our demonstrations and in our media affects other people. And I know this full well. But some act irresponsibility in strong media outlets. They act in this irresponsibility and what does that cause for loss to your children when they follow in what they share? It's all about influence. And influence is share. When you share fun with another, what happens? More fun in the world. When there's more fun shared. When more love is shared. More love in the world. When more friendship is shared. More friendship in the world. When more homosexuality is shared. Less children. More hatred towards the opposite sex. Because they dislike and don't want them around. So what do you share in this world has an effect, minor or major, depending upon what? The viewers who view your share, who you share with. But when a major influence shares a lot of something, it has an overall influential effect of a great share. And what happens when that great share is to deprive us of children? Is it of a union without children? What do we lose from our children's leading and following in that share? From others following in that share? We lose population in the case of gay. And when hatred is shared, we lose heart and love for one another. We begin to dislike one another. When love is shared, when you share what you love with the world, then it grows in influence. And love begins to grow for that which you share with the world in love. As I said, I loved you when you were born, but many have grown to the point where I only support them now. And I tell them the truth of why I don't share in what they do. Because what they do causes such influential harm to the greater population and to myself. Because I don't want to be a part of it. And I share that knowledge to protect you and myself by telling them no. Which is called respect when you told no and the reason why. Yeah, respect can also be met, met with share. And when you share in respect, then you share in what that is, that is offered. But you can always say no to somebody. 
Sometimes you have to tell them why. But truly, what we share influences the world. Some minorly, some majorly, depending upon what the viewing audience that you shares with, who it is shared with, to so who do you share with. That's what you influence. What do others share with? That's what they influence. And what are they sharing? That's what they share. It's not anything else. That's what they share. And that grows in the world in that share. Whether it be a fun and good time, whether it be of love and hearts and things of creation and its continuance, of growth, of family, or whether it be of something of a loss of that continuance of heart, of that continuance of life. And that's all about who you influence. You influence some. Many influence a lot. And many who influence a lot treat that share, that influence, with what kind of respect towards the continuance of us all. And what the, they share has an effect in our lives in which manner is a part of our lives because it has been shared with us. And we have the option of joining in the share or saying no to it. Which will you decide? Thank you for your time among all the different shares. Christopher David Clayton of the United Unified Belief.